Hey, what's up guys? Made it safe and sound back home. Bought this cool hat while on vacation. Super good for outside. Uh, but yeah, here's a quick clip of what, what we got to do. Hey, bro, I came just to look. But the deals were too good. I'm gonna have to try to fit this in a box on the plane. Let's see how that goes. Anyways, let's see what's in here. So I pretty much... Uh, only got the spray rig and a couple of other goodies that I ordered on all wall since it's free shipping in the continental US and Expensive shipping if you're trying to get it to Hawaii. I figure I fill up these boxes make it worth my my time and it ended up being cheaper than trying to Do it on UPS or FedEx. They were quoting me about 300 a box I went through Hawaiian. This one was a little bit heavier. It was 60 pounds, so I ended up having to pay, I think like 130 or 150 for for this one. But that one was only 50 bucks, so it worked out. Uh, but yeah, I pretty much deconstructed the. Oh, the and this is what was inside those boxes. So. I'm pretty excited to try this one out. It's a brakeless box handle by a branch off of Tape Tech, which is uh, Asgard. Pretty much Tape Tech owns All Wall, uh, Ames, and Asgard. They're all the same company. Uh, but yeah, this is their handle, brakeless handle. You just turn this knob, put it in a fixed position. So it's pretty lightweight. Uh, I think it's going to be perfect for the walls. Uh, especially for like eight foot, eight foot ceilings. Um, but yeah, this bad boy made it safe and sound. The sticker got a little dinged up, but it was too good to pass up. I got it for a, a thousand bucks, pretty much brand new, and some random sandpaper and stuff. Hey, what's up, guys? My old Sierra Strava, back from vacation. So we're sanding with the D, uh, Dewalt cordless sander with the Flexwalt Hepovac. For this house, especially since we're running off a small generator, there's no way that the, the bigger boys can get enough juice. So this is perfect for this scenario. Uh, this is the last room, so you can go ahead and see how it sands. Uh, I'm going to be using 150 grit Joyce sandpaper. I strongly recommend this paper. Uh, especially for this type of sander that only rotates. It minimizes the swirls and it leaves a really nice finish. Even though it's a higher grit, that padding really helps. So I'm using 150 Joyce and a regular five amp hour battery. The six amp hour flex ball battery will last you about half an hour on the Epovac.
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you can actually hear me over that small generator. We're at this house, beautiful lot. Uh, but yeah, I strongly recommend getting this little cart. It's about 40 bucks. I'll put the link in our description in the video. Uh, it's a Dewalt T-Stack system. It clips on perfectly and it rolls around super easy. And the casters have some locks two locks for, to lock it in place if you don't want it to roll downhill or whatnot. And uh, cordless sander. Yeah, so overall, I sanded all of upstairs pretty much. Uh, downstairs, we still got quite a bit of work, some tying in to do. Uh, this job has just been a lot of working around other trades, but you know, sometimes you can't help it. But yeah, super good setup. If you uh, work, where there's no power or limited power i strongly recommend this you could just put that fast charger let me show you guys what i'm talking about so i just i put this fast charger here set it up and by the time one of them runs out the six amp hour battery lasts about half an hour on that vac full blast and then the five amp hour battery this small one uh lasts about an hour on the sander so the sander, you get a lot more juice. The vacuum sucks up the power big time. So you're gonna wanna have a couple of the flex bolts charging as you go to keep production going. But yeah, overall solid setup. Um, really impressed with the power this little vacuum has. Uh, you saw in the video that I ran it a little bit without. And uh, it just sucks up all the dust. It doesn't necessarily hold the machine to the wall. It doesn't suck it to the wall like the Festool does, but it collects all the dust. The only place it it uh, kind of falls short compared to the Merca and the Festool is when you get to a corner, pretend this is a corner of the drywall. When you get to that outside corner, there's a lot of dust. Um, that doesn't really occur with the Festool or Merca, but this is a solid option if you're doing um, small jobs or if you're doing a lot of jobs that are off the grid like this um, just plan on having enough batteries to back up this bad boy because it does drain the flex ball pretty quick all right guys aloha hope you enjoyed